All I can say is that for my brothers, please, before you marry somebody, don't just marry somebody because uh, you, you think that the person is beautiful. Uh, you have to know if the person really loves you. Most times, you are in a relationship with somebody that really loves you. After so many years, you will just leave the person, and all of a sudden, you will just go and marry one person that you just met, you know? And you don't know whether this person loves you this much or, you know, maybe because of your current status. The person will just follow you. And the same thing goes uh, for women. You know, you just see any man just because he, you know, he's rich. Uh, you don't know his mind. You don't know. You will just be following anybody. Hello everybody, how you all doing? Good day to you all. Welcome back to another video on my channel. This is your Blessed Up TV. If you are new to my channel, I welcome you heartily. Thank you so much for coming by today. And I hope that you subscribe, hit that subscribe button and also enable no the notification so you get to know whenever I upload a new video. And as usual, I like to say hearty thank you to every one of you who already subscribe, who support me on this channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You know, you guys, I always say thank you so much. So in this video, is something very, very, very unpalatable. And I'm going to be very, very careful with the words I'm using because of the community guidelines here. And you know, it's an artificial intelligent robot that is, you know, picking out words that may trigger some reactions. So in order to avoid a negative reaction from this artificial intelligence that is monitoring the YouTube to ensure uh, safe space, I will just try to use pigeon english or maybe even local dialect so this couple want to travel to canada so um they have just moved into this um, neighborhood a gated neighborhood in lekki and you all know that lekki is an upscale area in nigeria lagos to be precise and uh, yeah well-to-do families are the ones that live in this kind of area and uh, they said that they have seen this couple jogging over the weekend and uh, you know they are new and uh, uh, after all this tragedy happened it turned out that uh, they wanted to migrate to canada and they have been on the process of uh, processing the documents and everything that they will need and one of the things that they needed was the dna evidence that the children actually belongs to them you know if you want to migrate nowadays to europe or america you are required to do dna test for the children to to determine that the children actually genetically belongs to you and if the children don't belong to you you will have to have an authorization like an adoption you know a legal reason for being in the custody of those children so it happened that when they did the dna test the test revealed that the man is not the father of the second baby like the first baby matches the paternity of his father but the second baby's dna did not match and he's saying that this father this man that is presenting this child as his father is actually not the biological father of this child so the man is enraged and is asking the wife how come where did you get this baby from who is the father of this uh, baby so obviously the man is heartbroken who wouldn't who wouldn't of course it's expected that uh, you know when you are betrayed or you you know expect that you are betrayed in this manner to this level to this degree that you are angry but nobody knew the extent to which he was going to take his anger and that he was going to do something this you know ah I don't even know the words to use but anyway he went home and on that fateful day he already planned what he wants to do they said the sister of the woman lives with them so the children were in the care of the sister of the wife who lives with them and they were downstairs on that fateful day so the man just planned everything how he's going to revenge like you know he couldn't get hold of himself and come to terms with this and you know come to a logical reasonable solution uh which you will expect that perhaps divorce the woman migrate to canada alone whatever you know he couldn't just um get hold of his emotion and he came home and planned this drastic this dastardly wicked and vicious thing that he did and um yeah i don't want to say the word like i have said before you know um he asked the 
sister of the wife who is living with them and taking care of their children to go downstairs with the children so the girl was downstairs with the children and um, the man and the wife they were up you know they went upstairs uh, to their room and uh, they increased the volume of the music the man increased the volume of the the music and the speaker so the thing was blasting so the neighbors you know it's a gated community it's an upscale neighborhood you can't just uh, bother the whole people like that so they were trying to get the attention of the couple that ah, this your music is too much reduce it reduce it they are not receiving any answers so they went to the gate the people the security the people in charge of this uh, estate and they came to try to get the attention of the man but lo and behold nothing nobody is responding so they had to come into the house and they, they met with the sister that is taking care of the children downstairs and they say where is your you know in-law where is your sister call them this music is too loud go and meet them and tell them to reduce the music only for the girl to try to you know open the door uh, you know no answer she was standing calling calling no answer so she had to come back and tell the people by now a lot of people were gathered there like what is going on this music is too loud please the people should reduce it so they had to go and call the security at the gate so they had to force the door to open and lo and behold what they saw what they saw is incredible like um you know because of i said you know all the community uh, rules here i didn't put the picture here but i put that picture on my facebook page so you can just check it out uh, on blessed um, facebook page i put that picture there so it it, it is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing eh? the, the thing like the man um uh, on that, that picture you see that he put uh, you see plier on the ground and the, the braid that the woman put on the head is like he just use this uh, the plier just they take her out like that you know he do that one thing they say he shook her for eyes shook her for ear shook her ah he just uh, see everywhere ah like i don't know i cannot say the words here but uh, it just did these dastardly things and when he don't do finish make sure say he don't finish the woman in the most the way when if he say the thing pain 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 uh, you know like there is a the i don't know the level of rage that you will have that you want to do something like you you can't imagine the most the high you go take pain and pain and rich ground pain and rich in bone this is what this man did so at the end of the day you now took sniper two bottles and into worker so that is how this family life just finish like that so what will happen to the two children you know uh, what i want to say about this is uh it's true that a lot of women are um you know being uh unfaithful to their husbands and bringing uh children from other men into the family but we should not forget what is going on also there are a lot of uh, swapping because of uh, you know a lot of people are looking for male children some are looking for female children and they will have a deal with the nurse and they will swap a baby it happens it happens all the time um for me personally if the first child is your own and the second child is, normally we have these cases always with the first issue like most times the first child you know before the marriage and you know some urukere moves that you know that may go on there but since the first child is his own and um, the second child now nah, is not your own i don't think it's something that um uh he should have gone into this decision this rage immediately i think it's something that he could have tried to find out the real truth behind it and you know even try to find out um perhaps uh, you know it's something to do with all these uh, hospital scams that they are doing that uh, they are changing uh, people's babies and you know they are just doing all this uh, rubbish that they are doing in the hospitals these days which is why it is always important when your wife is having the child that you are there that once they are bringing the child that it is in your hand because if you are not there you don't know what will happen so men my brothers and my sister please if you are going to have your child make sure if your husband is not there, make sure your sister is there so that once they, they bring the speaking out now, your own person hand and they put them bam. Because if you know they're there, now anything where you see, 
you take because the feet do and on on do inside that place the carry picking give you you know no you go carry picking go has you know it can happen it can happen it's one example is it is a possibility but it's also possible that the woman cheated of course like the story i shared with you last um uh, in my last video you know i told you guys about these women that were having it with their pastor and uh, even though some of the women started denying more pictures of their escapades even came out. If somebody complained that they couldn't see uh, the pictures in that video and uh, maybe I should actually show you here. So I put those things in my page here, blessed on page. You can go and check it out. If you uh, yeah, just scroll through, you will see the stories. Um, we see that women are also frolicking with their pastors. And uh, in the event that in, in those kind of relationship, the woman comes back with a pregnancy and have the child for the husband, you know, uh, it is possible. Of course, I'm not uh, excusing any woman, but is that the way to go about it? What about your own life? Your own life doesn't end just because uh, the woman that you trusted. You can, you can, that wound can heal. You can move on. You can marry again. You can trust again. You can have more children that are your own. Like, uh, there is no need for this. Eh? And even this woman, even though she has sinned against you, she's also somebody's child. Eh? You know, you don't have any right to take the life like that. Why? You know, the most you can do, you, you can say, I'm not doing again carry your wahala and go go and meet whoever it is that you carry your picking go meet who get and something like that it doesn't have to come to this in my own opinion i really hope that uh, uh, my sons will not be in this kind of situation to talk of uh, you know going to this extreme and i think that uh, our men really need to be looking at that if you are marrying somebody be sure that the person loves you don't marry because somebody just wants to marry you or you just uh, sit down and say oh i'm not ready to marry you not be picking wife like you are picking tomatoes in the market it is wrong you know if you have built a relationship with somebody and you know where you are coming from stay with the person marry the person don't just have a relationship with somebody after so many years you just dump them before the year runs and you have married another person i don't know you know most of the time people are doing something like this uh, like when you are going through the university you are you are trading and you can meet people build relationship build relationship get to know each other and then you can marry somebody that loves you but once you are made and you are marrying you don't know what you are marrying the same thing for men the same thing for women you know don't look down on anybody go where the love is what because when what i'm seeing like when i see all these women frolicking with their pastor and saying i love you i love you uh, you know right, writing all these lewd things to their pastor you will see that or i suppose that they don't love their husbands yes because if you love your husband you will not be doing all this kind of a thing you will be faithful to your husband but well, it's obvious that the women just married the men out of the necessity you know the pressure that the society puts on women to marry so they just marry the man anyway you know whether they love him or not because he's ready you know it is wrong it is really wrong uh, this one is for men be cautious if you want to marry, marry a woman that is compassionate, a woman that has empathy, so that you will not be in a big mess like this. Eh? Uh, marry a woman that loves you. Go where the love is. Forget about the looks. Forget about any other thing. Go where the love is. Because if you love somebody and the person doesn't love you back and you are spending money, you think it's because of your money, you think it's because of your position, it doesn't stay because the woman at the end of the day will do whatever she wants to do and the same thing goes for men but for the purpose of this video we are talking about women so if you want to marry a woman make sure you know her make sure you are sure that she loves you and uh, develop a relationship with the person don't just boom you marry you you come home for Christmas, they say choose a wife for you, they choose one, you marry. Why? Because the girl, whoever you are marrying, maybe in a relationship, maybe is doing her thing, and you just come from nowhere because you are ready, you want to marry. It's not tomato you want to marry. It's not a goose that you are picking in a shop. It's a wife, a wife that you will give you your place in life. We, we bear you children that will take your posterity further. It is not something very light. You know, in the past, it used to work that people would just select a wife for you. But then uh, the sexual market was not deregulated. People are not having boyfriends and doing all these things. 
in the past. So it was possible for people to just uh, stick to their husband uh, in those days. But today, uh, the sex sexual market is deregulated. Everybody is having relationship. So you don't just come back and just cut into a relationship and take somebody out because you have the money and the means to marry them and they too don't want to stay in the relationship of their love because they are not sure when he's going to be ready, when he will have money, if he will even have enough money to do the wedding of their dreams. Yeah, all these things count. So women want to have big wedding. So women want to have society wedding. And they go for who can afford it, not because they love you. So you have to be careful who you are marrying. Maybe the woman is really beautiful. You know, maybe the woman uh, is from a very beautiful place. Or maybe whatever reason you are marrying the woman. If there is no love and compassion there, it's going to fall back. It's going. You are going to suffer. The same thing happened to our men that come to Nigeria. They will pick any woman they see. They say they want to take the woman abroad. You don't know this woman. You don't have any relationship with the woman. They just pick the woman for you. And you sometimes they will think that because she has not gone to university, her eye never open. You, you, you don't know all these things, you know. So please, my brothers, let us use our minds properly. Uh, I mean, this is a tragedy, but we can learn from it. And what can we learn from it? If it comes down to it, you don't have to kill yourself. Think about your mother. I have boys also. I God forbid that they will, you know, take away their life because of something like this. Yeah. Think about your loved ones, your family. Think about your surviving child that 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 is your own genetically. What will happen to them? Uh, I think this is also a problem of rage and uh, how to prevent it. If you are not married, my brother, please, if you don't have a relationship with the woman, don't marry the woman. If you live in the abroad and you want to pick a wife, you go to Nigeria and just fiam, you just choose one. It is wrong. If you want to marry, uh, marry somebody where you are, where you can have a relationship and get to know each other. If you want to go home and marry, make sure it's a relationship that you had. Somebody you used to know. Somebody you have been in contact with. If you are in Nigeria and you are not building relationship and you, you, you travel out, don't think that you are going to come back and just pick somebody and everything will work out. It, it's a mirage. If you are in Lagos, you are not having uh, bonding and having relationship with people there with you. People you see, you are having friends, but you think that the one for marriage is the one you go and just pick like an article and then you will come back to the village and every uh, to lagos and everything will be fine <laughs> uh, things are changing my brothers please yeah uh, uh, save yourself save your family so some of these men that that are in all these problems they are actually the breadwinners of their families they are actually um you know the light in their family but you know because of something like this that light is quenched taken out hmm? Yeah, I don't know what else to say. If you can add your own comment in the comment section and we'll continue this conversation. And uh, I also have another video that I want to make very soon about a pastor, another pastor that has been busted in the arts, you know. Yeah, I'll bring that video to you very soon. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.